Hi, it's Evie Babers here, back with another video, and I'm super excited. So, what's so crazy is I was just recording maybe 30 minutes ago. I finished recording 30 minutes ago, and I was talking about my Ultimate Valkyrie, and then I get an email, and it delivered. So, I did not expect to be doing a video this fast again, but we're going to be opening it, so I blurred out all the information. Anyway, okay. So, we're going to open it. Uh... Yeah, don't make fun of me for my knife. Anyway, let's go. Always cut away from yourself. If you don't already know that. Um, I'm hoping you know that. Anyway. I wanted to do, like, an actual unboxing of it so you can see me open it. Uh, sorry, it's just kind of hard to open. Yeah. I believe it should be Ultimate Valkyrie, because it, it said that that one delivered, because I have a few other things coming. Hopefully they didn't send the wrong thing, that would suck. Anyway. Okay, I think I can open it now. Anyway. And here we have it. So, let's zoom in. I'm so excited, you don't even know how excited I am. Oh, there it is. Okay, and there's something else in there. Oh. So here we have it, Ultimate Valkyrie, Legacy Variable Dash. So it looks awesome. Uh, we'll take a look at the box. So we have Ultimate Valkyrie uh, and the Nine Armor. Hopefully it's focused. There we go. Legacy and Variable Dash. Yeah, it looks awesome. But uh, before we open that, I'll show you the other thing I got too. So I ordered this from this other freestyle on, or th three style, three style on eBay. And what they do is they, uh, you probably heard of them. They sell Beyblades and then they do, they sell individual parts as well. So shout out to them. And I ordered this one that came with Ultimate Reboot. So that's awesome because I don't have Ultimate re Reboot yet. And as you can see, they just uh, cut it from the rest of the bay because it's sealed. So anyway, this is awesome because I don't have Ultimate Reboot. And now I can make a video with Ultimate Valkyrie Legacy Ultimate Reboot. Anyway, that's awesome. We'll open that in a second. I'm just going to wash my hands and we'll be back. I'm back. So now we're going to open the bay. So I'm super excited. Uh, I guess I can rip into it, but... We'll be respectful since it's Ultimate Valkyrie. Oh yeah, on the box. Uh, there's Vault. Right there. And then... Not much else, just the combo. Okay, let me stop, stop rambling. Get into what you guys want to see. Okay. Three, two, one, go shit. I said go shit. Three, two, one, go shit. And there we have him. Ultimate Valkyrie. What? Oh my gosh. No, they didn't. Valkyrie luck. Holy. No, I'm not. As you saw, I opened everything. There was no cuts or anything. I cut to when it was, uh, you saw me open the actual box. They accidentally included two manuals, which means I have two stickers for it in case the stickers rub off. Oh, that's amazing. They made a mistake. Oh, now I'm never going to forget this day. That's awesome. Anyway, this is the only second time this ever happened to me. The only other time this happened is when uh, on Random Booster, Volume Whatever, with Hollow, Hollow Valkyrie, I got two of the stickers. So now I have two stickers and two manuals. That's awesome. But here's the day. That's so cool. I can't believe... Cause I knew there's something else in the box, so I was like, "What is that?" Uh, anyway, that's awesome. I know it's probably not a big deal to you guys, but what's cool is that 
I'm sure the stickers, like, they might wear off. So now if they do, I have an extra set. Uh, what should we open first? Okay, I'll do Ultimate Reboot. So, this might be a longer video. So, here it is, Ultimate Reboot. This is my first time owning Ultimate Reboot. So the rubber, it's kind of hard. I've always wanted this driver. The spring is kind of weak, but as you see, so it has a rubber tip, and um, after you launch it, these little tabs pull out, and then you have the tip that's in the center. So when you launch it, it goes like that, but then when it slows down, these go on revealing a rubber tip that acts aggressive. So that's really cool. I didn't have that before, so I'm glad to have it now. We'll do the dry reverse. There's another part I never had. Here it is, variable dash. So these little prongs seem pretty high, so it's a good dash driver. Uh, the spring, pretty tight. So gimmick on this, I've never had variable or variable dash, but basically you have these little sets of rubber spikes and once you use it, they wear down and then it becomes like a whole flat tip. It looks like that. It's kind of like evolution and it's in the same colors as the evolution from Brie Valkyrie. So that's pretty cool. The only problem is it might scrape on this combo, but it's still awesome since it was the first driver ball ever had in the anime. And here we have the Legacy Disc. So as you can see, it has a resemblance to the Boost Disc from Victory Valkyrie. And also it has little uh, Z's or Z's in it, uh, which is a reference to Zenith. Yeah, so that's the references. And then on the bottom, I got one star, which most people I've been seeing are getting one star, which is weird. Anyway, I heard it's pretty light. It's only like 29 grams, which it's not bad, but it's not heaviest at the same time. And here's Legacy and Variable Dash together. And then, final part of this bay, we have the lair. Is this the final Valkyrie? Maybe. So here it is, Ultimate Valkyrie uh, 9. So I'm going to have to go over a few things here. So first of all, the rubber here, it resembles the rubber on Brave Valkyrie. As you can see, the chassis rubber, it's the same, but just more jagged. So it'll probably be better for attack. And it's a hard rubber, too. So it's three rubber rings. These parts are taken from Winning Valkyrie. Uh, these clear wings, they're taken from the Singular Valkyrie. There's little slots on the wings that are from Slash Valkyrie. And then this part here is from Victory Valkyrie. The little Strike God chip looking thing is from Strike God Valkyrie. Then the Golden V is from Slash Valkyrie. Uh, Chica Mark from Vault and Brave Valkyrie slash Savior Valkyrie. And then this little helmet thing. I don't remember which one this is from. I think it might be... It might have been Brave? I'm not sure. But anyway, this looks awesome. I might be forgetting something. And here on the bottom it has screws, which is crazy because most layers don't have screws now. And then the nine armor. So we have nine, looks pretty cool. And also the nine disc, or nine uh, armor is a reference to the wing disc from the original Valkyrie. Cause these little wings here. Valkyrie core. So it looks pretty cool. And it has proper teeth now. So no bound gimmick on, on like Savior. Uh, so, it's time to put the Beyblade together. Uh, how does this thing go?
That looks right. And then, okay, because I'm trying to get this to work correctly. That looks awesome. And yeah, we'll put it together. So we have Ultimate Valkyrie, Legacy, Variable Dash 9. Oh, and it is tight. So there it is. Possibly the final Valkyrie. And it looks amazing. So there won't be any battles. Maybe, probably not a test launch. But I will show it with stickers, and that'll be it for the video. And then we'll do battles in tomorrow's video. Yeah, it looks so cool. Valkyrie's come a long way. Uh... I'm going to be sad if this is the last one, but I'll also be happy since they did a good job at making this one. Although I do wish it had Ultimate Reboot Dash in th this, these colors. Oh, that's a tight one. Okay. Here's the here's what it looks like with Ultimate Reboot. It's still pretty tight. See, I think it would have it should have had this. But anyway, I get the, why they chose Variable, though, because it resembles... I think it, it reminds me of Victory Valkyrie. Yeah. So, that's basically it. I'll cut to when it has the stickers on. Or when it has both sets of stickers on since they gave me two. Which is, in, which is insane. I was not expecting that. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I'll look at the manual. Uh, I'll show that after, actually. Anyways, I'll be back when the stickers are on. Okay, so I'm back. And here's, here's Ultimate Valkyrie with all the stickers on. So it looks really awesome. You gotta make sure the armor's lined up with it. And that sticker will probably come off. But the good thing is, because they gave me an extra set of stickers now by accident, now if I need to replace it, I can. So there's also stickers on the armor. So yeah, this bay looks awesome. I'm not gonna battle it yet, but I'll show it alongside all the Valkyries I have. So I see you get Savior. Uh, sorry, just need a second to take Savior out. So we have Savior, and then the only other Valkyrie I have right now is Brave, but I have Slash and Chosey coming. So there it is, so we have Brave, Savior, and Ultimate. So, apparently this one's only, like, in the 60s, 69 grams, something like that. So it's actually lighter than this one, which is 74, I think. But this one, it should, it'll definitely beat this one. This one's garbage. Anyway, yeah, I'm not going to do any battles here because it's starting to get late. But expect battles, uh, coming, battles in the coming days, for sure. And there's the Ultra Reboot. So, uh, go... If you're looking for Beyblades on eBay, I'd recommend the Seller 3 style. And I'll put up, from the last order I got from them, it came with a little card that had their QR code on it that brings you to their shop. So if I can find it, I'll show it. Uh, so there it is, uh, right there. If you can, if you're able to scan that on your phone, do it, because they, they sell individual Beyblade parts at pretty good prices, and the new bays as pre-orders. And they arrived pretty fast, because even though this was a pre-order, this Beyblade only came out on the 11th, and at the time of recording, it's the 17th, so that wasn't too bad. Anyway, go buy from 3Style if you can. It's not sponsored by them, but I just want to recommend them, because I like them. Uh... And that was Ultimate Valkyrie. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a good day.